Hello and welcome to my channel. This is Lisa with Lisa's Faith and Budget Planning Channel. I'm excited to be here today. I'm ready to set up my sinking funds and my savings tracker so I can keep track of everything that's going on um, regarding to how I save money for specific expenses. Um, some are more general and some more specific. Sinking funds are very specific expenses that I have in one savings account. And then the savings tracker is more of an emergency fund um, the starter emergency fund that has the thousand dollars plus the uh, what I add to it for the six months, uh, three to six month emergency fund. Um, I'm trying to build right now, which is I'm, I'm at 30 uh, percent so far of what I want to build and um, what transactions have happened between both. I run uh, both savings account like a sinking fund where I have categories. And so when I do my savings tracker, I just kind of mark out date and I write categories and I write really small. <laughs> so um, that's what I do here. So if you're interested in watching me set up these two um, budget sheets, as well as, my. as well as my credit card transaction log, we'll go over that in a minute. Um, I want to, I'm combining all three of these together, uh, sinking funds, savings tracker, and a credit card uh, transaction log, um, because they're very short and fit very well in one video together. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to pop these pages out. I'm going to pull May's um, sinking funds so I can get the beginning balance of June, um, which is the ending balance of May, and um, go ahead and set these up and then transfer over what we have in savings and what is going on this month because there's more transactions in this one this month and we'll go from there so I will be right back okay I am back so I have gone ahead and wrote down all my um, categories that I need for my sinking funds and you're going to look at here the ending balance for all the same categories and then any adjustments to categories I made here so some of them have stopped some of them increased and some of them um, are new, one of them is new, um, that I'm just starting for this month. So we're gonna jump into that, but right now what I want to do is go ahead and kind of slide this under this way and transfer these balances and kind of line them up. I need to pay attention to the end um, because I'm not adding anything to Canva uh, and I'm not, um, and I kind of put them in a different order. So um, I do know Amazon Prime ending balance here, as you can see, is $90. There we go, it lines up that way. Um, $90 here, so I'm gonna put my beginning balance of $90 here. We have $34.98 for Disney Plus. It's, um, if you divide $69.99 um, a month, by 12 months, this is, um, it's about $5.83. And so that's what I do every month. Same thing with Apple subscription. They're about the same time when they come out, November, December timeframe. So they get fully funded about the same time. Uh, so that's also $34.98. Um, it was cheaper to do the annual than it was to do um, monthly. Um, I think I saved about $13 doing it that way. So it just depends on how you run your sinking funds. My sinking funds are usually annual expenses, um, not um, uh, monthly expenses or things that happen frequently. Mine happen maybe once a month and then maybe a few months before it happens again. So um, Orkin Termite Spray, I currently have $34 because I did use most of it. I renewed our contract and we had a spray and then um, I also um, paid for the ant um, granules that I sprinkled around the house as well in addition to it. So $30, make sure I'm on track here. A contract for the heating and air conditioning. Once a year I have to pay over $200 and something, whatever $30 times 12 is. Um, or not thirty twenty dollars times twelve um, to cover that contract, and right now I have thirty dollars built up. City of Chesapeake, I'm balancing forward a negative amount. So City of Chesapeake is um, my storm water for my house. We have to pay storm. We have a lot of waterways and. Um, like there's a retention pond behind my house and there are waterways around the city and stuff like that. So they charge a fee for stormwater, I guess. I have no idea why we have to pay it. I just know we do. And it's twice a year for $44.10 so far. 
And then we also have a property vehicle tax. And this year it was $588.88 total. So I add all that up, divide it by 12. And this time we're starting out with our beginning balance of negative $8.98, which is fine because a lot of the these this money is still sitting in there so it took care of that and then when i make a deposit at the end of this month this will go back to the positive and we're fine so it will cover that cost not a problem senior year we're starting with 900 dollars. so my husband and i had a conversation about that and i kind of looked at him and went we're already at 900 dollars for my son's senior year next year he's finishing his junior year his last day of school is the 11th of june and um officially schools out on the 18th but that's exam week the 14th through the 18th and he has no exams and he has no uh, state standard tests so we are good there and he won't have to go to school that week but i already have 900 dollars this month we'll have a thousand dollars for his senior year that's for class rings cap and gown yearbooks pictures all the things that they do at high school all the extras it's about what we 12 no 1100 is what we paid for our older son um in 2017 when he graduated now we have my other son graduating in 2022 and uh, we have 900 dollars saved up already which i'm totally thrilled with and we are thinking he might just need a thousand dollars and if we need more we'll do it on the fly so this will be the last month i'm funding for my son's senior year which is fitting because he's finished with his junior year. We're ready for senior year to start and um, we can do all the things. So uh, we figured we'd do a little less than the 1200 that I was planning on because he's not getting a class ring. He doesn't wear jewelry and he didn't want one. We're definitely get a yearbook um, and all the other stuff, but that we're not going to worry about. Let's see. Cell phone tech. We are at 5585. That's anything if we want to, if somebody wants a new cell phone and we have money to pull from, there we go. Technology, iPad, laptops, computers, or whatever. Um, anything tech or cell phone related, not the monthly service bill, just buying the equipment or whatever. That's where we're trying to save money from. We should be building that up from now on. I see Christmas, we are at $300. Vacation, we're at $50. I randomly went out of town and visited my parents. You're going to see me add $50 and take money out again because we're going to go see my parents again this weekend. So that $100 is going to be included in this sinking fund tanking out. And um, I kind of repay myself um, the last paycheck of the month for this. A P.O. Box. We are up to, let me see. P.O. Box, $17 a month, $34, $51. So we're at $51 a month here, or $51 total saved up. And then I started a new one, a business fund. Business fund, I'm putting $10 a month in. We are starting with zero. I'm going to add, I'm going to go ahead and write $10 before I forget. Um, this is for my business license and my name branding and stuff like that with the state of Virginia. So that's what I have there. Canva, we have $120. And I'm going to go ahead and write zero here because I am not, that's fully funded for next year. I don't want to add any more money to it. And then dividends ended at $2.84. It is a credit union. We do get dividends for keeping money in the account uh, very low very little coming in but that's okay i don't really mind so when you total all this up and i have the total over here it is one thousand six hundred and ninety four dollars and sixty seven cents so basically what was here starts here and now i'm going to kind of slide this over and we're going to add what the actuals of how much we add every month so I always add $10 a month to my Amazon Prime and I will add Disney Plus another $5.83. I'm grab my calculator. Such an odd number. <laughs> so we have $34.98. We're going to add $5.83. That gives us $40.81 and another $40.81. Orkin Termite is $34, and we typically add $55. 
and um, AC heat and contract, which is this one right here is $20. There we go. And then City of Chesapeake, I had 52 going in, but I made a note down here, City of Chesapeake, I'm gonna bump that up to 57 because we went negative this year and I needed to adjust for that. So I'm doing um, $57. Get this line back up. Sorry about that. So $57 there. And what else? So we're doing $100 to my son's senior year. That's gonna put it at 1,000. This will be the last month we're funding it. And um, yeah, I'm really excited that we, we did it. We saved $1,000 a month for that. That is gonna be awesome. So that means going forward, my sinking funds won't be as high and I have that extra $100. That could go to the emergency fund. That can go to fund things and stuff like that. So I'm really excited about that. Cell phone tech, I typically put in $100 for that. So that'll go back up. Christmas, I give myself uh, $50. Vacation is another $50, but because I am going to go out of town for the weekend to visit my dad's and then my mom and my sister and all that, um, it's my dad's birthday, it's my son's birthday this week, so, you know, a lot of things going birthday happening. So I'm going to take and deplete this one down. And that'll be $100, so that is definitely going to be $0 left in that one. But that's okay. Uh, P.O. Box, I'm going to add $17. So, um, and I'll do the totals at the end of the month, but I wanted to go ahead and get this out of the way. Um, no Canva, and then we had dividends. What do we have for dividends? Oh, no, I don't have that written down. Um, let me see if I can... Uh, get this on my laptop real quick. My dividends were 41 cents. Cool. All right. So that is the total right there. So this whole total, and we'll add this up real quick. So that's $10 plus $40.81 plus $40.81 plus 55 plus 20 plus 57 plus 100 plus 100 plus 50, plus 50, plus 17, plus 10, plus 0.41. And that's not right. That doesn't look right. Okay, I see my mistake. I don't know why I did this. I didn't need to write the total <laughs> right here. I just needed to write, you're probably yelling at me through the screen. No, no, write the 583. 583 and then 583. 83. No, that's why my numbers were coming up wrong. All right. The rest of them I did correctly. And you're probably, like, what is wrong with you? I'm so sorry. So $10 plus 5.83 plus 5.83. Okay. Plus 55. Ah. Let's try this again. Last time. Going to do it this time. <laughs> 0.83 times 2. I'm just going to do this. Okay. Plus the $10. Plus 55, plus 20, plus 57, plus 10, or 100, plus 100, plus 50, plus 50, plus 17, plus 10, plus 0.41. That's the number I've been looking for. Oh my goodness. All right, so we have $481.07. Um, so that is the total there. I do know this is coming out. And I'm going to go ahead and mark it and leave it there. I'm going to leave the rest of these alone. So just in case in the uh, throughout the month, if I need to use these sinking funds and I have to take it out, um, I'll do it at that time. And then at the end of the month, when I close my sinking funds, you'll see what the actual numbers were. Um, but I'm not going to put any totals here just yet. Um, but that's the sinking funds. Okay. So now that I've finished my sinking fund setup, Let's move on to my savings tracker. So here is May's savings tracker and here is June's savings tracker. I wonder if I can stack these on top. No, it's not quite enough room. So I'll have to do them side by side. I have not filled these out yet, but I will go ahead and do that really quick. It's really short because I don't really compartmentalize too much in my savings tracker. 
But, um, so starter, emergency fund. And I'm not sure if I'm gonna be using it this month. Um, the beginning of that is $1,000. And um, that's because I did kind of have an emergency. I put it on the, you'll see it on the credit card transaction log. Um, I did put it on the credit card, but um, I have until the end of the month to pay it before any interest accrues. So I'll either take it out of the, and pay for that transaction in, on my credit card from my savings, or if my husband has overtime, I might take it out of the overtime. I'm not sure which, irregardless, Overtime goes in the savings anyway, so we'll just see how I do it at the end of the month. Um, let's see, three, oops, not 36. Oh, let's see, 36 months savings. And right now, because in the end of May, I did not put any money away at all. Um, when I closed it out, nothing went into savings except for the dividends that the bank put in. So these numbers are still the same. So I still have uh, $9,125.00 zero cents there. Travel expense will have some activity this month because my husband, husband is traveling on business. And you're going to, you probably have already seen um, in my um, paycheck one and my monthly budget that I've already um, allocated $250 from this portion of the savings. And I'll go ahead and write it down here $250 to subtract out. Um, and if I need, if he needs more throughout the month, which I don't think he does, he didn't think he does. He doesn't think he needs more than that either, um, but that should be all we need, and that will be what this month looks like. I've already kind of transferred all that and moved the money around. Um, before I do vacation, I'm going to do VA um, education savings. All right, I'm just going to use some initials there because my husband wanted me to save his VA education deposit this month. And it was, um, oh, what is it? $733.20 that I transferred over. Oh, and I don't know why I did that. I need to put it over in the plus sign. Um, we start with nothing and I'm adding 733.20. There we go. And then um, vacation. For August, still not sure what we're doing. Still not sure what to do yet. I'm waiting for the company to give a give us a green light on the dates that we want to go on vacation. So it's just sitting in there, and we'll see what happens. And then dividends. Um, again, this is just a savings account in the bank, and they give dividends if you keep more money in the bank. So um, we have $10.64, that ending balance there. So all of this here, 1,000, 9,800, that didn't exist yet, 3,500, and then the $10, this total is $14,435.64. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Matches my bank account kind of in a hurry today so all right that matches my bank account and I'm going to be adding in this three seven hundred and thirty three dollars twenty cents and taking out this 250 which I've already done and so there's that um and if there's any other transactions like using the emergency fund to pay for uh the new starter I got in my uh armada um, because my starter died and it wouldn't crank anymore, so I couldn't start my car. I had to get it replaced, and it was over $1,200. So it'll either come out of the emergency fund, or it will come out of my husband's pay at the end of the month. Either way, it's going to be the same thing. It comes out the same in the wash. Um, 
regardless, the credit card would be paid off. Speaking of the credit card, so this is my, um, yeah, this is my savings tracker. This has set up the beginnings and some of the transactions that already happened. And if there's any more, I'll put those in throughout the month. But like I said before, I will be doing a credit card transaction log. Did I pull that out? Oh, of course I did because it's on the back side of the savings tracker. <laughs> All right, whoops, dropped something. So here I have my credit card transaction log. This is something new in my shop. I started doing this every month. Um, I want to, when I use my credit card, I want to slow down and think about it. And, I, and the way I slow down and think about it is to put it in a transaction log. <laughs> and this is how I make using a credit card hurt. So I'm very cautious with using it because I want to pay it off every month. And the best way I found to do that is if I'm going to use my credit card to keep my credit balance up, don't just say pay it off every month and then get caught up and not be able to. Um, do a transaction log and write down what the total you owe and what your available credit is and watch your credit available credit go down and how much you owe go up. And as you can see here, there's the Bannister Nissan here. Um, 1273.52 is what um, the auto repair was or the starter that got replaced in my vehicle. That is what we had to pay. So I put it on there and then um, at the end of the month, I'll decide how I'm gonna pay for it. Um, because the 24th is my cutoff date before any interest charges or any minimum payment is due. And that is what I need to know here. So, um, but by the end of the month, it's always paid off and it's I always start with zero owed. But the last few months I've been putting over a thousand dollars on the credit card. And that's because I started putting my, um, any, um, my business stuff and uh, subscriptions on here. And so this is a way of making sure I can stay in balance. There's stuff I would, these subscriptions were already in my bills before, uh, on my bill calendar, but I moved them to the credit card to have something to pay regularly every month. Except for, instead of one or two items, I put several items. Um, my credit score actually went up 10, 15 points because of that. Um, and saw more activity on the credit card and it being paid off and leaving it on longer. And so, um, yeah, I want to keep doing that and keep my credit score good. And that's what I'm doing here. So this is my credit card log. Um, I think this is something that's really good for anybody who wants to use a credit card, but wants to stay in control of it. This might be the answer to that. And if you're interested in it, I do have an Etsy shop. It's called Lisa's Faith Budget Plan. You can find the link in the description below. And I'm going to grab my notebook. And I'm going to put my sheets back in and I'll close out this video. So I'll be right back. Okay, I am back. So let's close out this video. Um, my These are my sinking funds. Here's my savings tracker. Everything looks pretty good to me. Um, I'm looking forward to this month. I'm looking forward to what's going to happen in this month because we're hoping to get some overtime uh, during this month, but we'll have to wait and see how much that's going to be and how that's going to affect all the numbers. So you want to see things change. And so when I do my closeout for the sinking fund savings tracker and for the credit card log, um, which is on the back side here, this is just no notes I keep to myself about what's going on. Um, so by the end of the month, I know what to make changes with. But yeah, I love using this credit card log. It definitely brings that anxiety feeling of, should I really buy this on the credit card? Should I not buy this on the credit card? Um, just like you would, can I run my debit card? Do I have enough bank money in the bank to pay for it? Um, you you want to pay your credit card off every month. You want to make sure you have good credit. Um, I know that's not the philosophy of Dave Ramsey or Ramsey Solutions, but I do know if you are trusting enough with God and you are trusting enough with yourself to make sure you maybe do something like this to keep yourself out of trouble, this might be the solution you're looking for, especially if you don't have a choice and you need to use a credit card or you're trying to get out of credit card debt. If you keep a credit card log and see where you're at and put your numbers in and physically write, hand write the transactions. I think the reason why it doesn't hurt when we use a credit card is because we're just swiping and not thinking afterwards and just putting it off to later. And then the statement shows up. Well, instead of waiting for the statement to show up, I'm writing it down and this matches my statement. 
So just like with your bank account, if you have a check register or you do transaction logs for your spending categories or whatever, writing it down makes it impactful and makes you think twice before the next time you do a purchase and you decide, is this worth it or is this not worth it? So that's what I love about my credit card log. Um, of course, getting a fully funded emergency fund. Um, my three to six, I'm hoping in combination with my starter, emergency fund, which is a $1,000, um, this $9,000. And so I basically have $10,000 in my emergency fund. I don't count this because this is something I'm leaving in my checking and savings account. This one will move eventually into a money market account. I just haven't gone to the bank to do it yet, but I need to. This will stay in the savings account. This will stay in the savings account until um, we have our vacation, whenever that is. And dividends, I just kind of leave in there. I, I want to account for it so it balances. But this will be in a, a money market account. And I want this number to be at least 35500 And this 1000 would be the total together would be $36,500, which is my total fully funded six-month emergency fund. It actually kind of more than six months, but that's the number my husband and I came up with, and that's what makes sense to us and we feel comfortable with in the bank account for a job loss or any kind of thing happening out of, the, out of nowhere. We have the money put aside. And then we have over here um, the sinking funds, and these are just annual ex expenses that pop up or something you want to save for short term once a year or every few months or so and like the senior year this is the one time <laughs> and last time i will be doing this so i i don't have any other kids and i won't be saving up for any other seniors so you know a senior year of high school so i just want to make sure i can give him and spoil him and love him for this big hurrah final year of high school i remember it being exciting myself i have fond memories of graduating high school so yeah i'm excited for that so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more of my videos, uh, please subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys next time. Bye.